Now it's time to find out the newest dark elixir truth for sneak peek number three. And let's go ahead and finally upgrade this thing. And look at this. It says Apprentice Warden right here. So the Apprentice Warden has Aurora HP like the Grand Warden, but no warden a tome or no apprentice tome or whatnot so we go ahead and train a troop and this is where the apprentice warden is aurora hp increases 24 percent, so it has a seven tile radius that will be able to help buff troops so let's go ahead and cook up a few of these here there is level one right there all right i see you but let's go ahead and upgrade this apprentice warden and level two okay you know it's a little bit darker purple here there we go level three even darker there we go and then level four is 30 percent aurora hp buff and there we go and there is the max level apprentice warden so let's test out the apprentice warden in the blimp so this is a normal blimp right now that we have barbarians and super wizards so normally we send the blimp and you never want to land on a bomb tower there's the invis there's the rage we land and we try to take out this town hall. We do another invis and they are gone. And now with the apprentice warden, there's the blimp. Let's go ahead and get the invis rage land. All right, there we go. Another invis bomb tower goes off and the super wizards survive the bomb tower explosion because of the apprentice warden. So that can be very interesting. But if we take a look at the CC, the thing is, the super wizards come out first. So if there's giant bombs that come out of or around the bomb tower, your super wizards are probably not going to have a chance to survive. But if you're landing directly on bomb towers, nothing else, you have a chance now because of that apprentice board. I'm going to run it through a couple different ideas that I had that you might be able to kind of run with. So the first one is to do a apprentice warden walk right what will happen let's do a little apprentice warden here one two three four five. Oh, that's a lot of healers on the apprentice warden he's gonna go through there so i guess we'll just see the value that he could get and we'll just charge the queen down here right we'll put five healers on her so the apprentice warden with the healers i'm, I'm really curious can i get to the scatter shot because there's that but i'm also stay tuned i'm gonna test the apprentice warden putting in a blimp to protect super wizards to survive a bomb tower, right? Because they get that buff. So let's go and rage this queen up because we're going to go through this king. But all right, Apprentice Warden, you're still you're still moving good. All right, there you go. I like it. What's if we were to use an Apprentice Warden for an Apprentice Warden? Does that, like, buff more stuff? Wait, what? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. But let's see. Let's just continue to charge into here. That's a lot of healers for... The apprentice warden is not doesn't really do too much too much damage there. Oh, that one's dying. Oh, we gotta rage him up. Rage up this apprentice warden. Can he stay alive with the five healers? Oh, he's working. He's trying his best. We'll drop an apprentice warden up there. What is if we do it a full a full attack of apprentice wardens? Uh, let's go ahead and recall this queen. Oh my God! Look, the apprentice warden under rage with the five was able to do it. Can I recall the full? I can probably actually recall all of this. Wait, I could probably take him all... I can because he's not as much as a queen. Whoa. That's actually a Prince Warden up there. That's actually kind of interesting. I'll poison the CC, but... Huh. I wonder what you guys can come up with with this type of attack. Now I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and use the Apprentice Warden in our blimp here. And we're going to fly from the opposite side and then have our heroes loop around. Let's see. With a few balloons, we go like this. Warden and blimp and warden ability. Boom. Protect. We want those balloons to get as much value as possible. And then we can go with the invis rage. Bam. Okay. We get it finally. Okay. We take out the CC. No worries there. That went down really quickly. Another invis. The biggest threat is going to be that monolith. That multi goes down. And this multi can go down too. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we can send the king, the queen, all into here. We can send another ice golem like this. A Valkyrie, an Electro Titan, Baby Dragon over here. But that monolith is going to be an issue here as we continue our push. Let's go ahead and try to uh, stun the monolith here. All right. 
The Monolith is being stunned. The Royal Champion is going to go to the top side. So I'm going to push my heroes towards that. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some minions. A couple balloons over there. My heroes are going to go through there. Oh, the poison. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Poison this as our heroes are going to run across King's ability. And some headhunters into you. So let's go and freeze that. RC ability. Let's go and freeze that again. Let's try to wall break. Can we no, we can't wall break in the town hall. All right, we're just going to try to walk around this base here. Drop another hound here. Another balloons like this. Queen's walking around. Oh, boy. What does this turn into? Uh, take this out. As we continue our way through. Queen will walk down south. I may you know. Let's go and haste. Freeze. The town hall. Let's go and heal. Let's go and haste. Uh, definitely not an ordinary attack there, but... You know, it could work. Have a few leftover balloons. Town Hall's been secured. Queen still got our ability. Um, well, look at that. If you keep those Super Wiz obviously invisible before the CC can come out, you can clear it. I've been having ice golems in my CCs because those are definitely very annoying CCs to deal with. Um, and pretty common nowadays as well, so. Yeah. Let's do a bowler smash with two warden walks. The first one being right here. One, two, three, four. And the second one is going to be right on up here. Two of you. And the warden, that warden walk, he's going to go ahead and clear, or at least attempt to try to move into the archer tower. Oh, wait, he's following that balloon. Oh, hello. That's okay. The archer tower goes down. Baby dragon grabs the cannon. Now he should be fine to move into there. Okay. So now this warden is trying to take out the queen, and he's just out of range perfectly, so we can rage you up. Down you go. Now you can step in and grab the scatter shot as well. Baby dragon did some work. That mini warden's still going. Okay, I like it. I like it. Getting some very nice value. Scatter should go down. The mortar should go down, and then we will push our way in towards this. Come on, grab that mortar. Let's get that king right over here. King. Bowlers, bowlers. Ice golem. Look at that mini warden guy go. He's still going. Log launcher. Let's do queen. Log launcher. More. More balloons. More of you. More of you. Let's do a wizard on that because the cannon was not distracting. Let's go and freeze up the expo. Oh, the defensive rage gets off. Every time, guys. I try to freeze it, but I, I just miss. Every time. Let's send the RC into here as well. As we continue our push. We want to keep this eagle and this expo stuff frozen. So we continue our push all the way across with that log launcher. Okay. Giant bombs. We can still get healed. We still can push through here. RC abilities can be forced. This is where I would love to freeze that town hall, but um, kind of already used uh, some of the free spells, my friends. All right, so let's go ahead and try to jump this rage you down here so they take yeah they take that jump so they stay away from the tunnel poison but my rc and her ability was already forced those bowlers did some nice work okay queen's got her ability we're still pushing our way around queen burns the ability takes out the monolith working onto the king Ooh, it's not the prettiest here but king goes down that little mini uh apprentice warden walk did some damage did look at that the queen staying up and we'll just drop a wall break here, even though it won't do anything. And the king comes back to life. 39 second queen. Is the queen really going for the wall here, guys? The archers walked around, but you can't walk around. Now you walk around. What are you doing, queen? Hello? The... Sometimes the queen just does what she wants, you know? But there we go. We get it. With the queen's... Saving the day just barely, but that Apprentice Warden is going to be really cool to see what you guys can do when the update does drop. And be sure to comment down below what you guys want to see me do in a future video using some of these new troops. The Super Hog Rider or even the Apprentice Warden.